Now the next question that people ask me is, well, can a, th a fiber laser cut things out and indeed drill a hole? Well, yes, it can. Um, into any metal, even gold. So it's a bit of aluminium plate and it is roughly uh, just under 1.5 millimeters, so it's 1.4, 1.42 millimeters. All right, so it's nearly one and a half. So it's probably imperial. So what I've got here is just two strips of aluminium and I'm just going to sit this aluminium plate on here like this and um, I'll draw a little circle in the CAD system and uh, you know we'll see how long it takes to go through. Okay. Actually, I might put a shorter piece on than that. It's the same type of material. Put it here like this, so you can you can see it going through. Uh, I always put a bit of MDF or something on here because the laser won't affect uh, MDF, and I, I don't want to you know, mark this in any way or burn a hole in that. So okay, so I'm gonna take you back up to EasyCAD two. And we will uh, set a little test piece up for this. Okay, so this time, well, as we're going to be drilling a hole, we've got to use a, a round circle. Maybe just go maybe six millimeters, which is about a quarter of an inch thereabouts. Apply that. So there's a quarter inch hole, six millimeters. Now we're going to hatch this. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. It's sort of coarse, but uh, it's, it's okay. Matte contour, because it'll help with the drilling effect. Okay, that's all we need to do there. Okay, two, we're going to enable two and um, yeah, okay, well, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. But uh, I think we're going to do, yep, 45 degree angle. So that, in other words, it's going to come in here and go across at an angle like that and work its way through. Um, yeah, I'll go with that. And I'll, everything there is okay. So I'm going to apply. And three. And we're going to enable this and I'm going to leave that as that. Oh, what was that one first of all? 45 minus 45. Yep, that, that's pretty good. It's going to come in from the other direction. So I'm going to apply that. Each run is going to uh, do f three different um, sort of modes then. It's going to do the the circular hatch, okay? So it'll be circular, not exactly square. Uh, in the first hatch, the second hatch, it's going to come in at a forty-five degree angle this way, and the third hatch is going to come in at a forty-five degree angle this way. And I'll run that continuously and see what happens. So we'll get rid of that a minute. Put that back over there at the way. Power. Uh, like I say, the uh, power rating, let's just take that off. That's turned on. Um, 500 millimeters a second. That look, that's okay. So this one we're going to put 99 again. And leave it at 20 hertz. Um, because this is the most powerful setting, actually, and we'll run with that. So let's drill a hole. Okay, so first of all, we'll check our focus. So let's turn the laser on. 
Let's red dot it. I just want to get the focus right. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll keep the camera in focus and the laser in focus as much as I can. So, here we go. Beautiful little little six millimeter hole. I don't mind tell you that's pretty damn warm. <laughs> but um, you know that's really just a paddy trick, you know. Um, you can cut out any shape you want. And in actual fact, um, if this was a piece of silver. Um, this is exactly how jewelers cut out, you know, very, very minute designs. You know, this is how they do it. They use a fiber laser, uh, you know, in mass production and things like that. Uh, sometimes they stamp them out, but these days, invariably, fiber laser. Now, aluminium. And lasers, fiber laser, or any other type of laser, um, should we say a, a fiber laser is pretty well one of the only lasers that will cut a hole or cut aluminium. Uh, that is because aluminium um, reflects, should we say, about 98% of, of laser normal laser. If it was a CO2, like um, a 100 watt CO2 laser, it wouldn't even touch it. Wouldn't, wouldn't mark it. You could paint it and it'll burn the paint off, but uh, or anodize it and it'll take the anodizing off, but it will not mark the aluminium. Well, as you can just see, that's a milli, a, one, nearly one and a half millimeters of aluminium and it took a little time I did time it and it did take three and a half minutes which is you know it really doesn't make much sense you know if you want to you know it's quicker to drill a hole but really it's just a demonstration I mean look I don't know whether you can pick that is this still warm oh it's okay now I don't know whether you can... Is that better? Look how clean that hole is. Beautiful, isn't it? So, to answer that question, can a fiber laser drill a hole? Yes, it can. Um, but, obviously, it's not. You know, uh, how can I say? you know I'm gonna try another way actually and I think it's gonna be a hell of a lot quicker um, I'm just gonna get the laser just to do the outside okay not a complete hatch I mean that was 
like machining the whole area out okay I'm going to see, see now if I can get the laser to just go around and around and around and around, and around on the outside and just I think it'd do it ten times quicker let's give it a go okay it didn't like the single line uh, it's cut in about halfway um, but no matter how much I focused it or tried to focus it uh, it was sort of it was being held up by the top lip up here uh, I think so this time if you notice this here and I'm going to do a ring like that uh, and see if it cuts it a bit better so we'll go here like that and I hope I can make the camera stay in focus okay And the answer, uh, can you cut a hole out with a fibre laser? <laughs> the answer is yes. Uh, but uh, amazingly, it took about the same amount of time. Um, and of course, I was fighting to keep the camera in focus too. But yes, you can. There's the proof. There's the, there's the, there's the hole and there's the piece out of the hole. Uh, if I can just, it's still a little warm, this is cold now, if I can make it stand on end, oh, of course it fell through, idiot. <laughs> anyway, so there it is. <laughs>